All right, so if you've been following along with any of the other update videos as we've been going through these things, um, you'll know that I've kind of been babying these boots. I would say for the first six months of their life, they've had it pretty easy. Kept them dry. Uh, I've kept them out of the mud, out of the dirt. I'm going to try to change that in the second six months here. I'm going to really put them through their paces. And today, we're going to see how they do on rocks. Big rocks. This is a boulder field uh, that I've been to a bunch of times. It's actually pretty interesting. It's called Ringing Rock. And the composition of the rock is such that when you hit it with a hammer, it rings like a bell. So I have my hammer. I'll show you that as well as we get out onto the boulder field. Now I will say that I am a bit nervous about taking these out onto the rocks. Um, I don't think the sole and heel and that whole setup is, is set for hiking at all, but we're going to do it anyway. The sole is actually pretty solid. It's not, it's not soft or sticky, kind of like you'd want to, to grip trail or grip rock. So I'm thinking that it's going to be uh, a little tricky for sure. Nice. And here we are at Ringing Rocks. Walk out onto the boulder field. You really need to choose your steps wisely here. And it's actually pretty cool. We have the entire place to ourselves here. This can get kind of touristy, especially in the leaf peeping season. I guess the leaves haven't quite changed yet or they're, they're getting there, they're starting. And it's early in the day, so it's pretty cool. Let me show you quickly how the park got its name here. Let's find a good rock. You can actually see the good ones by how much they've been worn away by people hammering on them over the years. So let's find you a good one here. This one over here looks like it's been hit a few times. Let's see how it sounds. Not bad. That might be the best one yet. As I'm cruising through the field here, I can see there's one boulder right there. It looks like it's super worn. So I'm gonna go take a look at that one. Now I gotta tell you, these boots are really surprisingly sticky here. Your footing is really tricky. And I'll say, even at an angle like this, they're sticky. I'm surprised. Here's that rock. Let's see how it sounds. That was a disappointment. Check this rock out here. The four-way split. I think these uh, boulders were all deposited from a glacier as they kind of melted away and when this one dropped it must have split 
and see how they sound. All from the same rock. Pretty cool. Also, there's a really cool waterfall uh, kind of down the hiking trail here a bit. So let's go take a look at that. It, it depends a lot on rainfall. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if that's running. It's really interesting too, as you get away from that boulder field, the rocks lose their ring. It's like there's something in the composition of them all together that really makes the resonance. See, check it out. This is uh, down towards the waterfall. Listen to this. This is a normal rock. Well, I hear a little bit of water, so there must be some little trickle going on. Well, there's not much to write home about today. Uh, it is running here, but you can tell uh, when we've had a, a nice hard rainfall or there's a snow melt, this entire rock shelf here has been kind of covered and cascaded to different degrees. So uh, yeah, today it's kind of a miss, but what are you gonna do? These are going to get real slippery real quick. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm really happy with the uh, result. The soles were grippy, nice and sticky, surprisingly sticky. Uh, and yeah, on to the next wear test. Thanks for watching. See ya.